It's okay, don't worry. I'm, 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 I'm hurting. You're hurting? Why are you hurting? Can you tell me? I'm wounded. Where are you wounded? My tummy. You've been wounded in your tummy? Mm -hmm. What will you get wounded with? Um, coming towards me there was a man tall man with the beard on and he was like he had a blonde hair and he called my name and I just felt safe. Good. Do you remember what name he called you? I don't remember now. Oh you see if he called your name and I was on a one-to-one -one session I'd have got you to tell me what he called you since I'd have got your name for doing that. Okay? Uh, I can take just one more two more. Um, one more. Um, my name was Maisie Crompton. I was in Aylesbury at the side of a river and I was looking after ducks and I had a blue gingham dress on and there were some friends around playing with me but I didn't get anyone. Right. So my job was to look after these ducks. That was pretty good. Yeah. Anybody else? I was uh, going to my engagement party. She just went straight in there, she'd been stabbed with a sword and she was in a lot of pain. How do you feel now? So you don't have any pain in your tummy or anything like that? Yeah? Are your hands warm again now? Yeah, yeah they were really cold. They were, yeah, because when you've been injured, you, you know, your body takes blood from your arms and your legs to protect this bit here. Okay? <coughs> so she was experiencing that. Now you know why I won't take you to your death. Imagine if you were being burnt alive. What would you smell? Because all your senses become alert. Mm -hmm. What would you feel? Do you know what I mean? That's why I don't do it. So obviously I had to go straight to her and protect her and get her out of that situation. That's why I stopped hers there. Yeah. Uh, now obviously in the clinical environment, that I would have picked up that a lot sooner, and we, we would have stopped that before she even got to be injured there. You know. All right. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to I'm going to finish now because it's it's surprising how quickly the time goes, isn't it? Yeah. So I hope you've learned something tonight, There's something about... You know, it's just what it is. Right. She's looking through a window at the lady of the house. She was picking flowers in this beautiful basket, yeah. And I was washing out with her. Right. And I was always in the kitchen, always working. Being sent there by my family. Mm. See, on a one-to-one -one basis, when your arms started to go, I would, say, I would have talked to you then and said, you know, can you tell me why your arm's lifting? Are you aware of your arm being raising up in the air? That's happened to me a lot, though. And I sometimes can... people do that. It's like a floating sensation, mm. you know, and if you're floating, your arms do raise, don't they? Mm. Mm. Sometimes they use that as a, a convincer on stage. They'll get you to put your hands out like this, and one hand is heavy, the other hand is light, and they do that, you know. And so it's, you were just probably just experiencing that lightness. 
but uh, it would have been interesting to talk to you and find out why you were doing it. Because you may have already gone straight into a past life. Sometimes when I'm regressing people, uh, when I get to the hypnosis bit, you know, they'll say, am I supposed to be wearing this dress? Well, tell me what it is then. You know, and I'm, I'm only halfway through the hypnosis bit. And they're saying, I've got this big dress on. So I just go with it. Okay, let's see what color is it. You know, are you walking? Are you standing? What are you doing? And then they go straight into it. So maybe, you know, you were like this. Maybe you got your hands up at the window looking out and thinking. Oh, because I looked inside and it was green inside as well. And green outside, green inside, made of some sort of material. Yeah. But these great big, brilliant plus I know, there was no reason why. Wow, I, what a fantastic yeah. thing. Like the name I got today, uh, Maisie, is not a name that's in my family that I'm acquainted with, that I like. That it's I, a rare name as well, isn't it? Yeah. Really rare. I mean, yeah. I've never... Yeah. Yeah. And Aylesbury is something... I've never been to Aylesbury. <laughs> So it was just, just fantastic. Did you know what um, era it was in? Just near Aylesbury. Yeah. Just near Aylesbury. Wow. I have to get a map. Yeah. And have and, a look. Um, yeah. And the, the, I got the year as well. Mm. 1618. Just brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to read. I wonder what you were doing, mate. Amazing. I wonder what you were doing there. I was uh, looking after the ducks. Yeah, just. I was a young girl looking after ducks. I've been told I have to look after these ducks all day, you know, with my friends and keep an eye on them. And I brilliant. had this kind of thing, like a shepherd's crook, but, but longer and for, to sort of catch, put around the necks of the ducks and bring them towards me. If I, you know, if they went away, and I had a blue gingham dress on her. <laughs> <laughs> what was the weather like? It was lovely. It was warm and sunny, well and the grass was really green with flowers, and it was just lovely. It was just a lovely, lovely day, a lovely place. Fantastic. Well done, Maisie. <laughs> Thank you.